Forged in the fires of war, a new kind of rebel army is emerging. Bigger, battle-hardened and more organized than we've ever seen before. For two weeks, we were given exclusive access to the Idlib Martyrs Brigade. Twelve battalions and hundreds of men strong, now working together for the first time. Armed with a few more weapons and a lot more ammunition seeping through the borders to where they live, fight and pray. And if these are desperate times, then these are also desperate measures. Because the deadly package being delivered on the bike is an IED. A sign that the rebels are also changing strategy and tactics. The line between life and death is perilously thin. The men creep onto land controlled by the military just down the road from an army base. The bomb carefully, slowly primed. And the device is planted and hidden. This tactic is now being used across Syria. We're still weak. That's why we're forced to make our own IEDs. They give us extra strength. We make the bombs because we lack weapons, because there's no help from outside. Our people are being slaughtered and no one else cares. We make a dash across the main road where the government tanks patrol as the fighters move into place. Well, this is a pretty audacious operation by the Free Syrian Army. Essentially, that checkpoint down the hill is acting as bait to try and lure government troops out of their compound, into their tanks and armoured vehicles, down the road, and that's when they're going to detonate their IED. What you're witnessing is the rebel army going on the offensive. The tanks advance, opening fire. And for a while, we're pinned down. But the rebels didn't expect the army to come from behind. And with the IED now in the wrong place, they've had to run away. They were outgunned and outflanked. And the operation is a failure. But what's now changed is the rebels' ability to respond. So when one battalion is in trouble, reinforcements arrive quickly. The rebels move into a rural area as the army deploys tanks and heavy machine guns down the road. But the fighters know this land well and they move in, forcing the army to withdraw. We've hit armoured vehicles, the commander says. But imagine their terror. It doesn't really matter who they support. Millions of Syrians are now caught up in a conflict they didn't choose. That the world seems unable to stop. And as the rebels come together and go on the offensive, it's one that's spiralling out of control. Ian Panel, BBC News, in Idlib province.